So this video is for all of you Dell users out there. I found a really useful tool that allows you to create reinstallation software for your Dell PC, specifically with Windows 10 or 7 or 8 or whatever it is that you wish to reinstall with. And I found it on this website here called heidoc.net. And if you go there, and I'll put a link in the description below, it's their Microsoft Windows and Office ISO download tool. Now this is really cool. Let's quickly download this. And it's a very small download, only takes a moment or two to, to download here. And once it's downloaded, I'll just go ahead and open that. So this application has ISOs that you can download for Windows 7, an update version of Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and some other editions as well. But the one I'm interested in today is the Dell edition. So this is particularly useful if you have a Dell laptop or Dell desktop and what you're missing, you know, you can it's easy enough for anyone to get a Windows ISO these days. But what you're missing specifically is all the drivers for your particular Dell PC. So if you click on Dell and then choose the model of your Dell computer, and this also includes the Alienware product as well. I currently have a Dell XPS 15 9570. So I'm going to find that on the list here if I can. There we go. So uh, there's two versions available, the Windows 10 Home Edition and the Pro Edition. I'm currently using the Pro Edition, so I'm going to select that. And then I can choose one of several images that might be available. So again, what's beneficial about these particular ISO files that you'll be downloading is they're made specifically for that particular model PC. Now, what I look for in these images is I want the latest one. So if you click on this, you'll see a release date. So you can determine quite quickly which one is the most up to date. So it looks like one from 2021 is the most recent ISO for this particular machine. And I can just go ahead and click on download. And this is going to start downloading the ISO for it. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded this because, of course, it's uh, over 9 gigabytes and it would take forever to do it. So I'm just going to cancel out. And uh, what I need to do is create a USB thumb drive for this particular image. And what I like to use for that is a tool called Rufus. So if we go to the rufus.ie website and scroll down until there's an opportunity to download at the time of this video, the latest version is Rufus 3.21. So I'm going to click on that and we'll download uh, Rufus 3.21 here. We can go ahead and launch this when it's downloaded. I can go ahead and minimize the browser now. So this is actually very simple to use. It looks complicated when you first see it. What do I click on? What do I do? I've already got a USB thumb drive in my USB port. It's a 64 gigabytes. Obviously for a Windows install, you don't need this much, but you know whatever thumb drive you happen to have is, uh, is fine. As long as it's over eight gigabytes, I think is the standard. And then I simply click on select and navigate to where I've downloaded that ISO file. Click on open. And it will default to several choices for you for partition scheme, target system, and so on. It's going to label it Windows 10 x64. And when I'm good to go, I can go ahead and press start. Rufus now has the ability to customize your Windows installation. I'm going to stick with the default here because this is a uh, manufacturer's ISO. Uh, I'm not going to check any of these options, but you could uh, experiment with that if you feel so inclined. I'm going to just go click on OK. And it's going to give me the warning that everything on that USB drive will be destroyed. So <laughs> go ahead and click OK. 
and it's going to delete the partitions and create the USB thumb drive. From there, what you're going to want to do is once this process is finished, reboot the PC that you're creating this ISO thumb drive for and boot specifically from that USB drive and begin the installation. And it will be pretty much standard uh, Windows type installation. The difference is, is that it should come pre-installed with any software that would have been included with your Dell PC. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.